since he was 10 years old. He has been a consultant to other major entertainers. And um, when I saw and heard that David stole Nick Shepard's watch off his arm without Nick knowing it, I said, I gotta have this guy come. And I said, could you steal us a few media points while you're at it? So with that, it gives me great pleasure, and please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. David Farr. Yeah, my first six, I made uh, late fees disappear. And uh, now I'm gonna try to make uh, Hollywood and Netflix disappear. And uh, I say, I need to be sure warmed up. I need to find a, a good, lucky participant here, a nice warm-up volunteer here to help us out. And in fact, I'm just gonna look through the audience. I love when people volunteer their friends like that. I, I love that, sir. Uh, but I just need to find a volunteer. If you feel like being a volunteer, just go ahead and raise your hand. It really doesn't matter who it is. It can be anyone here in the whole entire group here. It doesn't matter who it is. Just go ahead and raise your hand if you feel like being a volunteer. It could be anyone here in this whole entire room. Hey, we have a volunteer right there, everyone. Let's give a nice warm welcome as he makes his way up on stage. And let's, let's learn his name. What is your name, sir? What's your name? Tim, that's correct. Excellent. Everyone say hi, Tim. Hi. I'm involved in the magic show before, Tim. Every day. Every day. All right. The check's in the mail. Thanks a lot. I appreciate that. No one ever says that. Stand right above the trap door. All right. And uh, Tim, if you can, are you right-handed or left-handed? You're right-handed, okay? That's that's awesome. We're gonna give you some scissors here, and if you can take the scissors and your right hand there, since you're right-handed, and using your special or your left hand, that works as well, okay? <laughs> your other right hand, all right? <laughs> Is Tim always like this? Yes, Say the end of late fees. The end of late fees. And check it out. The ropes have now magically, mystically, <laughs> restored themselves into one solid piece. Not. Not. Oh, not just like that. Uh, well, um, that was good, Tim. No, Tim, that was good. That was good. I'm going to try it one more time. Okay. I want you to try it without spitting. Okay. All right, no, here we go. <laughs> Do not take your eyes off, Tim. Here we go. One, two, three. Yeah. And Tim, pick an end right there. I'll pick this end. How about a nice round of applause, please, for Tim right there. Thank you, Tim. I appreciate it. All right. So uh, now I'm wondering uh, if I can take another, uh, another survey of the audience here. Is there anyone in the audience here this afternoon, this morning, with a $100 bill? Anyone at all? You can trust me. I'm a magician. You can totally trust me. Uh, anyone with a $100 bill? Okay. Uh, how about this? Anyone with a, with a $50 bill? Anyone with a $50 bill? Or right over here? Where? Right, right. Sir, what do you happen to have on you today? Everyone else here, say the last three digits out loud on the serial number right there so everyone can hear. Uh, 47B. 47B, okay. Please, everyone memorize those numbers. All right, Brian, especially you, all right, just in case you should ever see this thing again. <laughs> all right, just bring it right over here. And you seem very trustworthy. If you examine Brian's city dollar bill right there, make sure that, okay, that's good, that's good. All right, now. Are you nervous? Sorry. You're shaking. Yeah. Right. I'm a little reality show. It's actually us, uh, a halfway between a reality show and a TV game show. It's called Let's Burn a Deal with Your Money. <laughs> All right, so uh, I knew you'd like that. I knew you'd like that. I, if you don't mind, just to make it totally official, I happen to have your special uh, magic marker. And uh, if you don't mind, Brian, just sign your name across the back of the $50 bill right there. Nice and big. Full name is fine. Why don't you add your social security number there as well? <laughs> And uh, Brian holds, everyone can see that Brian just committed a federal offense. <laughs> the I love when a room full of people laughs at a federal offense. The I love. We're going to take your money, we're going to place it inside this envelope, we're going to seal the envelope using a special French method. All right. It's an international show, all right? And now we're going to add two more envelopes which contain absolutely nothing. The name of the game is, you have to try to guess correctly, Brian, which envelope contains your $50 bill. If you guess correctly, you win it back. If you don't guess correctly, you're going to nanny 911. Right. Brian, which envelope contains your $20 bill? Is it envelope? Brian, which envelope contains your $5 bill? Please, don't ever attempt this at home here. This is very dangerous here. We're going to set these other envelopes ablaze. All right. 
And Brian, how confident are you feeling right now that you picked the correct envelope? Yeah, I feel real confident. You feel real confident? Okay, good. good. Oh, not real confident. Okay. So we're going to add uh, some magic water. All right. And uh, now we're going to put this here. And then, Brian, if you can, go ahead. Grab your envelope. You selected right there. Show everyone that you did using your psychotic powers, or your psychic powers. <laughs> correctly select the envelope containing the signed $50 bill. Go ahead. Open it up there, Brian. Take your time, but hurry up. And uh, go ahead and take it out there, Brian. All right, it's getting very hot, Brian, by the way. Very hot, so go ahead and take it. But don't show up around, Brian. Is, let's see, let me see the inside. Show me the inside. Are you, let me see the other hand. Are you kidding? <laughs> you know, I, I, uh, I don't. I swear, uh, Brian, everyone else, um, that was the very first time that's ever happened again. <laughs> Ash is here. All right. I want you to on on Thursday then bring them to your your banker. Okay. I want you to explain to the banker exactly you're at you know at the ABF meeting, David Farr, this magician that you've never met before, you know, took your money, made you know, made you give up the money, explain the whole situation, explain that these are the ashes from your fifty dollar bill, and explain to the banker that you would kindly like, you know, your money. I'm sure the banker will tell you exactly what you can do with this. So thank you so much for misunderstanding uh, there. Alright, sorry. Now does anyone have a twenty by any chance? Anyone have a twenty? <laughs> I hardly ever mess up with a 20. If so someone just has a 20, uh, have up the whole situation with, with Brian. Brian, you know, actually, I was supposed to do just a really quick, quick show. I'm going to do a couple extra things just to make it up to you, and that'll be hopefully, hopefully worth uh, fifty dollars to you. So uh, let's find another uh, lucky participant. Wait, what's, what's so funny here? Share with the rest of the class. Did you take the ashes out already? I told you to bring them to your bank. And what did you find in there? Just what I thought. Just what you thought. <laughs> a whole lot of nothing. All right. Now, uh, do you like animals? Yes. yes. What is your favorite animal? Golden Retriever. Okay, good. Because actually, I was doing a, a party a couple weeks ago, and I asked the, the woman, I said, what's your favorite, you know, I actually said, what's your, what's your favorite wild animal? And she said, uh, her husband. So I'm, I'm glad you had a nice, you know, nice, nice answer. So it was a, uh, what's your favorite animal again? Dog. A dog. Retriever. A golden retriever, okay. And uh, do, you like, do you like cats? Perfect. All right, and uh, they're okay. How do you really feel? How do you really feel? They're okay. Furry. They're furry. Okay. How about uh, how about snakes? As long as I don't touch them, they're okay. And we're gonna have Holly pick out a card, any card you want, right there, Holly. It doesn't matter. Any card. All right. Any card, Holly. Holly, any card. Okay. It's your choice, Holly. Any card doesn't matter. All right. Any card, Holly. Okay. No, your choice. All right. Thanks a lot. Now. Uh, Wham, <laughs> like this here. I want you to say stop whenever you like. All right, Holly, you ready? That was a yes? Okay, here we go. All right. Stop. Well, okay. Okay, let's, let's try again, Holly. Let's try again. You gotta be a tiny bit faster, Holly. Okay, here we go. All right. Stop. Okay, I guess that was too fast that time. All right, here we go. All right, put your card right back there. Please, everyone, do not forget Holly's card. I'm not gonna look at it, all right? If you all could please uh, me memorize it and mesmerize it, all right? And I'm not gonna look at it here, but uh, what we're gonna do <laughs> is uh, go ahead and wave it over the basket and say, woo hoo hoo. Woo hoo hoo. <laughs> Holly, Holly, Holly. <laughs> okay, that was, that was much better. But try again, but th that was good. That, uh, that was very good, Holly. Okay, but try it a little bit higher. Okay, no, just your voice, not the wand though, okay? Just your voice. <laughs> okay, all right, and now did Kazam come out of the basket? Okay, no, no, don't do that. Go ahead. Okay. I saw the magician light flash before me there. Uh, okay, Holly, stand back over here, actually. Stand back and wave again. All right, and just wave from here and say, woo hoo hoo. Woo hoo. Nothing. All right, see that little pan right there? Try tapping it with the marker. I think that'll do. Try that right there. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> oh. Oh. Holly. Holly, there's something in Kazam's mouth. What was your card for the record, Holly? Five 
the five, let's face, let's take a look, because in Kazan's mouth is Holly's card. The five of spades right there. We found it. We did it. And for surviving that, this is your receipt, and you get to have that right there. Thank you very much, Holly. Let's give Holly a nice round of applause. Thank you so much, Holly. How are you doing? Good. All right, let's... Uh... Oh, my goodness. I have found my next victim. Or my, my next volunteer right here. I wonder, do you mind helping us out? Let's give her some encouragement, everyone. Come up this way here. My brand new sawing the woman in half illusion. Well, now you seem pretty excited about that. <laughs> but actually, I've been, I've been court ordered by the federal government to no longer attempt sawing any person, you know, woman or man, in half. So I actually had to downgrade a bit. She's glad about that. All right, you're glad temporarily. Uh, we had to downgrade a bit. And Linnell, if you can come here uh, real close. And, uh, all right. That's going to be fun. Here's the cool part. Notice this big hole right here. This is where your arm is going to be. Okay? Notice how we put a carrot in that spot and nothing happens to the carrot. Huh. Now, yeah, whatever. All right, now. Linnell, if you go ahead and insert your arm. Linnell, I promise you, Linnell, I promise you this is not going to hurt me at all. I promise you. Uh, only use one hand and use your left hand to cup like this, but ready to catch, okay, just in case we have an accident. All right, you never know. You never know with these things, you know. So let's go ahead and get ready here. And Linnell, let's insert the, the carrots here first. All right. And uh, let's have Linnell insert her arm if she doesn't mind into the top slot right there. You do mind? Okay, go ahead, put it in there anyway then. All right. <laughs> and, uh, and now Linnell, uh, yeah, keep it moving. Let's see if it keeps on moving. All right, now Linnell, can you, can you feel this right there? Okay, um, it's not supposed to be like that. Let's see, do I have a, a cloth or something? Yeah, I think I've got a cloth here. This will absorb the blood a little, or absorb the uh, carrot juice a little bit there. Okay, the carrot juice, all right. Now, here we go. On the count of three, everyone, we're going to do this, okay, for Linnell. On the count of three. All right. One. Two days ago, this actually it was a big mistake. The hand went bouncing out. started like the M's family hand. They started crawling around. It was, it was disgusting, actually. One. Two. Is it still moving? Yes. Oh, my goodness. She survived, everyone. We did it. We did it. Linnell survived right there. Thank you. A lock and, and a key, right? And there's a little ribbon surrounding the whole entire thing. I'm going to go over here and you go ahead and open up that box there if you don't mind. Uh, Chris, yeah, take the ribbon off. And uh, yeah, go ahead, yeah. Now, do you have uh, insurance? Do you have good insurance? <laughs> okay, don't answer that, actually. And now, yeah, open, it, open up the lid and what do we find inside? <laughs> Aiming at Bill. Another box. Now wait, what's wrapped around that other box right there? Rubber bands. Rubber bands. And there's a little handle. If you can kind of grab it by the handle there, it's kind of hard to grab sometimes with rubber bands there. But if you actually show everyone and hold nice and high, uh, the, the little one, yeah, get rid of the big one, and then show everyone there's actually some rubber bands. What we're going to do is we're going to take rubber bands off here and we're going to look inside. Do you guys have any idea what's inside here? Let's take a look here. I wish, but actually no, it's just two watches here. See, these watches look familiar. <laughs> <laughs> a, uh, an envelope that, that has some kind of claim forms for Brian up, over here that Brian, I don't know if you missed it, he lost his fifty dollars, he picked the wrong envelope by mistake. And well that was fast. Did, what is that? Is it is that it? Fire insurance. Fire insurance. <laughs> Fire, well, technically speaking, Brian, 
That was a fire up there. Technically speaking, we're going to take it out here. All right, and uh, reach in there. It's kind of stuck in there. Take it all the way out. And I want you to unfold it carefully and make sure that it looks like a five only. Shoot. Oh, no, no, five with an extra, extra zero there. Take it, yeah, unfold it all the way there. Kathy, and let's take, take a look in the very back there. I think it says some graffiti. It says, I think, Brian's name right there. Kathy found <laughs> Brian's name right there. Uh, David will be in the trade show. Um, he will be uh, at the party tonight, work in the room. I advise you to hang on to your wallets and your watches because you never know. Might go home without it. And uh, I would like to thank VPD for sponsoring David's appearance today.